Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the third unit of mobile computing. So the first topic of this unit is a wireless local area network, guys. That is called as WLANs. So basically, these are concepts we have already discussed in data communication, guys. Okay. So let us just give an overview, and I'll be connecting you back to those videos for one or two videos, guys, because I don't want to repeat the same videos again and again. So that is the main reason. Okay. Yes. So first, let us go through the introduction of WLANs. Okay. So basically, the from the name only you can say so it is some kind of a wireless local area network. So in your area or in a small region, if you are connecting wirelessly using some network. so that is nothing but your wireless local area network so wlan a wireless local area network it is used to establish a wireless connection between two or more devices so basically with a single modem of internet you can connect to 20 devices or 100 devices in that way for a limited number of resources devices so we can use a wireless distributed method within a limited area that is also most important because from my home to your home i cannot give a wifi connection right yes so in that way it is only for a limited area popular standards organized organizations support wlan or ieee and ets so basically ieee is most popular guys if you ask me okay so we'll be discussing about the architecture and services in the next two lectures or which i'll be connecting you back to our previous lectures guys okay so don't worry about that so features and advantages so wlan is flexible easy to add more devices so basically if one of you come to my home and you want some wifi connection so i can just take your phone i will be entering my wifi password and it will be connected that's that much simple whereas in wireless your device should have a port to in it to place the wire and my modem should also have an extra wire to place it so in that way there are multiple requirements whereas in wireless it is 100% flexible and easily you can adopt it and there is no limit you can say like you can reach up to 20 30 40 devices also on a single wifi so that is a major advantage it might be slow but you can add them that's the main thing so no problem with external conditions like floods or rains so basically if there is a huge rain in your area or in your city and there are floods full of water so in that situation there is a very rare chance that your internet is working functionally okay but if it is a wifi or some other wireless connection it will work easily there will be no issues for it because it communicates wirelessly right yes similarly increased mobility and collaboration so users can move within the environment without losing connection so basically if you are at my house you can move from in all the rooms you can go with the connection there is no pressure that you should be only in that room to get the network in that way there is some flexibility you can say okay so though there is no wire difficulties like there is no nothing like wires and all those things okay the disadvantages is transmission quality is low and the wireless equipment is costly so basically when you compare with wireless sorry with wired wireless equipment will cost a bit more guys okay in small scale i am talking when it comes to large scale like if you want to establish 100 devices into a single wifi at that time wifi will be the best and wired connection will be a bit costly so it depends completely on your requirement okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about arcit architecture of ieee 802.11 and after that we'll be moving on to the services guys i'll be adding an old video for both of them okay so i'll be i think you are watching this video in the playlist so please watch in the playlist guys okay so please watch those two videos and we'll meet back again at ieee 802.11a standards and ieee 802.11b standards okay so we'll be discussing about them in the next lecture guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching